Tyrese Halliburton, thank you so much for stopping by the show. Thanks for having me. Of course. So I just want to start here. We just got through a grueling 82-game regular season where you played in 69 of those games. You had an injury about halfway through the season. So I just want to check going into the most important time of year, how are you feeling physically right now? My body feels good. Um, over the last, like, few weeks, I've kind of felt like my body's kind of hit that second stride. Uh, it's, it's funny because usually that, that kind of comes in the middle of the year, but I obviously dealt with injuries and trying to get back after all-star break and trying to get my body right. So honestly, I feel feel really good, kind of, you know, the best I've felt since, you know, early in the year. You're going into a series uh, against the Milwaukee Bucks, and you told our very own Adrian Wojnarowski at the in-season tournament, or rather in Las Vegas when you were on his, his podcast earlier this season, you said that it's not quite a rivalry yet because you haven't played each other in the postseason. And now you're matching up in the first round of the playoffs. So once we get through this, can, can we start calling it that? Do you want to reevaluate that now? Uh, you know, I guess that's for the media to decide. Um, you know, I think these will be really highly competitive games. And obviously there's been a lot of, you know, highly competitive games, you know, this season. So just looking forward to competing against, you know, a championship level team, a team that's done it before. Um, and, and a great coaching staff. So just looking forward to competing against them. One thing that's really interesting, I think, Tyrese, about this series, now knowing that Giannis Attentacumbo is struggling with an injury of his own, not exactly knowing when he's going to be back yet, it could be easy to fall into the trap of looking ahead. How are you ensuring that that doesn't happen and that you stay focused here? I think we just have been stressing, just taking this one day at a time, really. You know, just understanding, you know, I've never been in the playoffs. A lot of dudes on our team, have never been in the playoffs. We're a really young group. Um, obviously, Pascal's won a championship. Yeah. Miles has played in games. Um, we got a lot of guys who uh, just have never been there. So I think we're just trying to live in the moment, be in the moment, and understand this is like a day at a time. I think sometimes, though, it can be daunting coming in against a, a championship battle-tested team in the first round. How much confidence do you have that you have what it takes to beat this group? Yeah, I think, you know, we're coming in a fully confident group. We really feel like we could play with anybody in the NBA. We felt that way all year. We've proven that all year. So, um, you know, that's not going to change just because we're in the playoffs. Uh, for me, Wisconsin's home, so uh, I'm going to feel comfortable being back home. And I think that that's just exciting for everybody to compete against a team who, um, you know, we've had some really uh, competitive games with this year. So. <laughs> I think that that's uh, exciting for our group. I wanted to ask you, you played in 69 games this season, but you told my colleague J.J. Redick that you felt like you pushed yourself a little bit to get back to, to meet the 65-game minimum so that you would be eligible for All-NBA. I think it might be a Herculean task to ask you to set aside the money for a second because that is such a huge piece of All-NBA. But what would it mean to you after the season that you've had to have it solidified as being voted as one of the best 15 players in the NBA, bar none? Yeah, it would be really cool. It'd be really cool. I just think there's been obviously a progression for my career. Um, you know, every every year has kind of been a step up for me. Um, obviously, you know, my rookie year and then getting traded and then, you know, being an all-star, being an all-star starter, uh, played FIBA World Cup, you know, just got named the Olympic team. All these things have been happening that have really been milestones for me in my career. And being all NBA would, would go right alongside with that. It'd mean the world, um, you know, for me to get recognized as that. But at the same time, I think that nothing means more than you know, the respect that I get from my peers and, and, and other people in the league. So I think that, you know, the love that and the votes that I was getting for All-Star really mean a ton because that's yeah. just like love. Huge week for you. It's been a huge season for you, but just this week getting ready for the postseason. But for the city itself, they're not only behind you all as you guys make this playoff push, but the number one pick, Caitlin Clark, she arrived this week to the Indiana Fever. You guys sitting aside the Iowa, Iowa State. What's the temperature been like at the city? Yeah, I'm sure there will be um, a million jabs as time goes on. And we're both, <laughs> you know, here at Indy. Uh, she said something to press her. I had something worse typed up in a tweet, but I was like, let me just show love. And she came right for me at her press her. So, uh, you know, I think that's pretty cool. But, you know, I think being here in Indy, I just want Caitlin to be comfortable. I want Caitlin to have success here. So I'm going to be here, uh, you know, for the, for the long run and want to see her succeed. And anything I can do to help her is important for me. And uh, just look forward to seeing her grow and get better. And her and Aaliyah and Kelsey and, mm -hmm. you know, the group that Fever have, just being able to take the Fever back to, you know, where they were. So I'm excited to watch their growth. And um, right, we'll just have to wait and see if it'll be in a, an Iowa jersey, if she can get you into it. <laughs> I would never jersey. put that on. Not a million years. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tyrese, for stopping by NBA today. Appreciate you.